Hey, hi, hello, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Mark. How are you getting on today? Okay, so as you can see, I came over here and I decided just to glass off this whole place. I figured that either I or just someone else is going to end up running into this. And honestly, I don't want that. I'm assuming it was meant to be something funny. And if anyone falls in there, they're definitely going to lose their stuff. If I fall in there, I'm going to lose my stuff. And we don't want that, do we? Because it's already happened to me and it sucks. It's really, really frustrating having to start over again. So I have a really cool way that I'm going to start this episode. It involves the water behind me here. It involves a shulker full of wool. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I will give you a little update once I actually start doing stuff with it. So just give me a wee second and I'll be back. So although it looks like I'm still in the same place and it is still nighttime, I've been up, I just jumped. I've been up to no good. Oh, look at this. Can you see what it's meant to be yet? If you said no, because neither can I, because that's just not what it's meant to look like yet. But at some point it will. However, I am definitely already panicking that I've just put it in the wrong place and that it's not gonna fit any way like it's meant to. But there isn't really a but. If it goes onto the land that's over there, I, I'll just take it. I don't know what I'll do. I'll, I'll probably like terraform or something. Or if it goes into the ice biome there, I've been planning to take that down for a while because I do need ice for an upcoming project. But if it comes too far over towards here, like I think it might, well, then I'm in trouble. So I'm going to keep going and I'll either see you in a bit when, you know, it's looking good or I'll see you when I'm having to tear the whole thing down. Wish me luck. It's no longer nighttime. Upon looking at this, I was definitely like, oh, you'll be able to tell what it is. But from up here, I can't even tell what it is. And I'm, well, I'm the one building it. If you are wondering why you're getting such frequent updates and nothing's really happening, this is taking me a long time. And I'm trying to make a video here. So if I just do it all, it's taking me three hours to do and you've gotten 20 seconds. That's not how content gets made, my guy. So I'm going to finish off doing a little bit more. And I think that'll be the final update until I'm like, pa, here we are. I don't know what that noise was. I'm a tad sleep deprived. My dearest apologies. I'll be back. So now that the first outline is in, if you managed to guess it, give yourself a big pat on the back. If you didn't, then, well, maybe you need to start looking at my channel more because where is it? Ah, it is actually my logo. Now I've put it out floating in the water here. I'm going to put a black border all the way around it for the very simple reason that when we're in here, we should pick this up and it should appear and look a little something like that. Now, when it is fully filled in, obviously it will be block white and then all around it, there will be a black, but actually because it's on the water like that, I think just filling it in with a white, I think that honestly will look okay. Or at the very least, I'm gonna just fill it in with white before I actually put a border on and then I'll see if I do like it. But I think the white on the blue, that's gonna look fine. And because it's in the bottom left of the map or at the very least it's in the bottom left of the map right now, <laughs> it kind of just looks like a little watermark. That looks class. And once again, without any actual planning, that's like almost dead center of the map. It's a perfect size. I didn't have to do any kind of terraforming. I smashed that. Okay, here we are. The moment of truth. Does it need a border or can it stay like this? I think that looks perfect. Honestly, I think that looks totally okay. I think having a black square going around it won't add anything to it. I don't think that's going to be an unpopular opinion. I think that will look totally fine. I think having that just on the water looks perfectly okay. But how does it look here? Yeah, I think that looks totally fine. Especially from here. We're quite far away. You can tell that's my logo. It is in the heart shape. You don't need anything else. That's pretty much perfect. I bet you didn't expect that to start the episode. So now that we've started off doing that, what could possibly be next? I do definitely need to finish up doing the ring here. Doing one corner of it makes the rest of it not look as good. So the rest of this definitely needs filled in, even if it's just with small trees and bushes and then the other lake over here, the dirt ring going around, more taller trees. That needs done. The campsite down here also needs started. I have quite a few ideas in my head, so that should be fine to get started with. We then obviously have down here to do. We have all this area to start customizing. We need to pick a color scheme. We need to work out what's going to go down here. But then, like I mentioned last episode, if we are wanting to have multiple rooms under the actual floor and then the tunnels connecting it, apart from the actual towers themselves, we need other builds to go in these areas. So that's something else that we need to think about. Also, the irony of starting and finishing another project while I still have all this going on is not lost on me. I just kind of get distracted easily. Okay, we are back in Earth's Obsession. I think that's what this place is called. There's no longer a sign. I think it's Earth's Obsession. Kiki, I'm very sorry if that's wrong. For this upcoming project, there's a couple things in here that I want to grab so I can actually get started on doing the nature ring. First, I want that and that. Stick that there. Next, I want that and that. 
I'll put that there. Now, while I'm here, I think I might as well just check out the shopping district. We'll see if there's some there's something very yellow over there. So I'm gonna go see what that is. Well, I'm not entirely sure what this is behind me. There's a baby zombie on top of it. So I think for now, I'm just gonna stay clear. And I'm really not sure what this is, but I'm also not gonna find out because I'm not allowed in. Uh, excuse me. Apparently there's customers queuing up to get inside. So it must be something good, but I'm gonna respect Ow. I'm going to respect the barrier and I'm not going to spoil anything. So I'll see you back at the base. Okay, so as you might be able to tell, I have been slightly busy up here. I've really not done too much. This maybe took like half an hour. We have the tall grass in all over the place. We have a different assortment of flowers. Over here you can see we have a few custom dark wood trees. We have the rather large ones. We've got the lanterns. We have the jack-o-lanterns with a carpet on them for a little bit more light because I really would like to get rid of the torches, but I don't actually know how I would go about doing that in the long run. So for now, they're just kind of sporadic. Here is the very first block of thinking about starting the path. It's probably going to be pretty janky because at some point it's going to have to be thick. At some point it's going to have to be thin. It's going to be kind of annoying, but hopefully I can make it look good. So over here, we obviously have another like pond kind of thing that leads into the waterfall. In this here, and as well as the one over there, you will see that there is a sea lantern in each of them because very much like the river downstairs, the second the water came in, it became Drowned City, population, my worst nightmare. I think that's pretty much it. The canopy here completely covers over the top except for this bit here, so I think I might just add it together. And that's just down to the fact that when it's actually a fully covered canopy, it kind of makes it a bit more homely, as homely as a forest can be. That is now technically two corners of the circle. To add. Circles don't have corners, you know what I mean. As for over here and over there, I don't really know what I want to do with them because obviously there's a lot more types of wood, there's a lot more types of trees, so we could just have more forests, but then that, you know, that's just kind of the easy way out and it might take away from actually this being a really cool build because it looks so basic. Obviously here we could have the acacia, or the oak, or the birch, and then obviously on the other side we could have something else. But then if we actually had, like, I don't know, a build here and a build there in between the two kind of foresty areas, that could be quite cool. There's absolutely nothing stopping me extending these a little bit. If we did have, like, a build here, per se, and on the other side, we could then have the dark wood going up to it and curling around here. Same with the jungle, and it could be its own little thing, but because I don't know what I'm doing story of my life i'm not gonna do that we have the simple idea for now and we will build on it in the future but for right now i'm gonna try and put in the pathway i'm gonna hopefully make it look good i'm just gonna go from this pool of water here for goodness i'm gonna go from this pool of water here to the pool of water over there and at least that way we'll be able to get an actual sense of does this look natural does this look terrible where does the lighting need to go this that the next thing and then from there we can work on it so i'll see you in a bit once i've dug out a little bit of pathway okay so that didn't actually take that long at all that actually went really smoothly and I think it looks really good. I think actually I can easily just make this on the other side and it'll be what we go for. It's easy enough to pretty much just keep a single line all the way around so it doesn't look too big, it doesn't look too chunky. On the corners obviously we do the zigzag pattern so it looks large but then when you come to these single pathways I don't think it looks big and small by comparison if you know what I mean. Like that doesn't look any worse than this I think. Hopefully. If you don't agree, then please send a letter of complaint to this address and I will be sure to read it. So yeah, this is now my new pathway. They will connect onto the bridges here, which I am yet to think of any kind of design for. They are just going to be some little, honestly, it'll be like half slabs descending. There might be some fences on the other side. It's like five or six blocks. We don't actually have the space for a crazy huge build, but something aesthetically pleasing, you know, will never go amiss. But for today, I think I'm going to go update the map in the control center. The control center is my bedroom. That sounds way much more like an innuendo than I'm intending it to. And then I think we'll start on the campsite. Does that sound good? Because I think it should sound perfectly splendid. Yeah, and there we have it. I think that's two really cool additions that we've made to the map this episode. So let's keep it going. Sh ah, you won't be able to see the campsite from there. But you know what I mean. Let's keep the momentum going. So it is time to start the campsite. And the first idea I have, I think is really good. I hope it looks as good as I think it will. As you can see here, we've got a little birds and fishing. We equip 
a slight outfit onto them. I think that looks like we have someone at the campsite fishing. <laughs> I, I think that works really well. Might obviously do something with like a wee walkway up to it. I don't know, the path just kind of ends here and they could have just walked off on their own and they've gone fishing, but who knows? I've also extended up here a little bit. You can see the little dirt because up here was a little bit thin. So actually putting a tent up here wasn't actually ideal. I'm gonna get to that now because I have a very set idea in my head. It might look terrible, so the quicker I do it, the quicker we can find out if it is awful. So I'll be back in just a second. So this is another time where I'm thinking to myself, oh, this'll be easy, peasy, lemon, not very difficult. However, I like it. It looks to me like, oh, that's water. Get out of here. I think you can look at it and it'll look like a tent. Kind of, maybe not so much, but sometimes, you know what, you know what I mean? Just look at it and say it's a tent. Even if you don't believe it, just close your eyes and squeeze really hard. Okay, cool, great. It's a tent. I don't know what this opening is, okay? Just on a tent, you'd have some, ca and the, yeah, look, okay? We're not gonna talk about it. We're just not. Oh, what if I go that, that? Now it's a tent. That's all it was missing. There we go. Simple. Just, just like that, it's done. Perfect. We have a tent. Now what else does a camp have? We're gonna need a campfire somewhere. Possibly down in this area here. We'll need some seats. We'll maybe need some logs to sit. Would you sit on logs? Would you sit on, you would probably sit on like a camping chair, but weirdly enough, Minecraft doesn't have a camping chair, does it? So, I'm gonna have to get creative. Which as you can see, is clearly my strong suit. Okay, so there has been some slight changes. We now now have a fire pit with a couple benches sitting around it, which I think, you know, I think this is okay. You won't burn your feet there. There are some, well, we'll take, we'll take the flowers. This man here, I was originally gonna have warm in his hands, right? But here, imagine toasting marshmallows. Look at that, if that doesn't scream, I'm toasting marshmallows, I don't know what does. The other small idea I had that if they've been, of course it's raining, they've been living here a wee while here, might go away, just have some crops. That would make sense, right? Then this leads up to here. So I would do that. So the path leads up to here and behind here we have that leading up to the crops. There we go, you see, we have a little bit of actual direction here. Yes, that's perfect. That's weird that there's grass under there. There we go, this place is coming together quite nicely. Now I would like something here and possibly something here, but I don't actually know what. So let me think on that for a wee second. So I've added a very slight few adjustments, but nothing actually major. I've just walked into it basically and I think it looks really good as is. So you'd come around here. I can't, oh my goodness. So you come round here and the first thing you see is the tent. You see the smoke coming off it. We have a little fell, felled? A tree's been chopped down. It's lying here. I need to possibly fix the, why is that dirt? How strange. So then this comes along here and then you have a lovely little bench so you can look out onto the water. Maybe you've had a hard day fishing or you've had a hard day roasting marshmallows. I might move him round so he's standing like this side of it. You can take a load off. You can go in and out of the water. It's kind of class. Now what else did I do? Oh yeah, now they have a crafting table. They have a few furnaces. They have a couple chests. They're really making themselves at home here. And who can blame them? What a lovely little area this is. I think for now until actually if you guys leave me any kind of suggest, you can actually see the logo from here. <laughs> that looks so cool. I didn't even think about that. It looks like an MGCK is heart cloud. Oh, that's sick. That's really cool. But back to the matter at hand. If you have any suggestions for what could go in this area, please do not be afraid to tell me. I will actually add possibly pathway from here going up and around to here. Just so this way you can now get into the tent and then it can match up with here. Yeah, okay, so there we go. Now the pathway goes all the way around. That can probably be made. Idiot. That can be made back into grass. That, hmm, this landscaping is never done. Right, perfect. I think this looks, I've been in the water. I think this area looks really cool, actually. Once again, Lang with the suggestion. Thank you very much. This was actually a lot of fun. When I actually got around to doing it, this was a lot of fun to build. But yeah, if you have any ideas, please do not be afraid to let me know. I'm always open to suggestions. Now, just the way I am going to end off this campsite segment, something that I'm definitely going to start doing from now on, right here. This place is going to be known as Langley Lake. Now, yes, obviously it's not a lake, but alliteration goes over logic, in my opinion. Obviously the comment and the suggestion was left by Lang, so the place is getting named after him. If you give me any kind of suggestions, I will make sure- THAT MAN IS GONNA RKO ME! Stop it. If you leave me a suggestion that actually does make it into an episode, I will be absolutely sure to make sure that you get credit for it, and you get a nice wee permanent spot in my world. I know it's not really much of a thank you, but hopefully you find it kind of cool, because I think that would be a great idea. Having multiple 
different locations named after you guys who are helping me actually come up with the ideas. Oh, yeah, I think it's a really cool idea. And that hopefully will be the first of many. Now, as you might be able to tell, we are coming up to the end of the episode. Things have kind of been all over the place today. I hope they haven't come across as rushed. I was feeling a little bit under the weather yesterday, so I lost a whole day recording. So I had to do everything in one day. So hopefully it's still come across naturally. Hopefully I've still recorded enough to make a nice long video. And hopefully you've still enjoyed it. If you have, you can leave a like on my video. It doesn't cost a penny. I know you've loved the video. It makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. It's a win-win-win. And really, what more could you- Ow. Ow! And what more could you ask for? Preferably not too many broken ankles. You also most certainly can subscribe to my channel completely for free. We're getting very close to a thousand subs. Just tell your mum, tell your hamster, tell your dog. Anyone who can click a subscribe button. Let them know what we're doing. Let them know about the content we're producing. Get them on board, because what's not to love? I'm gonna cut out the whole part of you can easily unsubscribe from my channel as well, because, well, if you unsubscribe, I lose the numbers and I don't ever hit a thousand, okay? Cool, great. My outros are getting more and more convoluted as this series goes on. But having said that, and with with that being said, I hope you stay out of trouble, you don't do anything I wouldn't do, and I'll see yous later.